Um, yeah, it's gonna be a grill. It's gonna be the grill. All right, I'm gonna put it underneath the oven. Not a grill, cause I don't have a grill at the moment. So I'm gonna just use the oven and do this one. But if you um, you can do it on the grill if you like to. <laughs> if you like to um, if you like to do it on the grill, you can do it on the grill. The way oh, I'm gonna be doing it is going to be amazing. It's gonna be fantastic, very simple, and you know you guys will definitely like the way oh i'm gonna be doing it yeah so please share the video please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend and please subscribe to the youtube channel we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from chef recording the team all right just waiting for a few more person to come online and then we jump straight into it and show you exactly how to make the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice um, we're gonna be doing a simple kebab recipe this evening yeah kebab is something different where you guys can also making it at home in your kitchen so if you're at home and you feel bored at the same thing where you keep making over and over then this is gonna be um, something fantastic for you this evening yeah um, you guys are gonna love it 100% you guys gonna love this and it's not too long it's gonna be super easy and super simple all right yeah all right super easy and super super simple guys please share the video we're just waiting for a few more people to come online please share the video please share the video guys if you can please share the video um with the caribbean fusion sauce and spice here it is we got um salt free seasoning this is the uh, salt free seasoning right here we're going to be using and also we got some salt free um fish season vibes that's what we're going to be using um we got the salt free season chicken pork and beef right here all of these we're going to be using this evening. I got some salmon with some prawn, which I'm already prepped up, ready to go. All right. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to walk through it and simply show you exactly what you're going to need to do to um, marinate it. So if basically, if you're at home and you want to do something simple and uh, so easy and delicious, this is going to be something for you in the summer. All right. So big up all of the people them who take the time and go through the summer recipes them. I know so yeah, summer is around the corner and this is what you want to do. All right, beautiful. So we got a few more people online. All right. Yeah. All right, so here it is. We got some prawn, all right, right here, um, and some salmon. I cut the salmon them already. I removed the. This is some smoked salmon and some prawn. I have so I have smoked salmon and normal salmon inside of it. I just give it a lovely little mix. Oh, smells so nice, guys! It's amazing the flavor. Chef Andrea, good morning. That smells amazing. All right, yeah, that smells so lovely. All right, now, as I said, we're gonna be using the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice Salt Free Season. Um, right here, this is the Salt Free Season, so we're gonna be using this one. This one's a all-purpose season. We're gonna put a little bit of the all-purpose season on top of it like this. All right, because a lot of people don't want want to cook at home, but you know what I mean. They don't want to be using too much salty, salty stuff. So if you don't want to be using too much salty stuff, these are things which you can, um, you know what I mean, use at home and do a few bits and pieces. Big up my Facebook audience. All right? Yeah. Please share the video, guys, and tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right? Please. Yeah. Um. So we got the salt free season. That's the... This one, you can get this on the... The Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. 
and this one is also vegan friendly um no msg in it inside of this one all right vegetarian and vegan and if you buy this guys and you're using chef ricardo you get 15 percent off all right now we're going to be using some of the fish season on it all right that's a little bit of the fish season on it um this one it said um chicken pork and but to be honest with you it doesn't got none or nothing like that guys you can use them for anything fish anything you have at home you can use it on all right and that's what i'm being doing i put a little bit on both of them keep it nicely and simple and also delicious like that all right um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just crush two garlic and you know what I mean? I love my garlic. You know what I mean? I can't cook without garlic. You know, certain kind of ingredients. Certain kind of ingredients, you have to have it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to have it. You know, you have pot to make things look nice. All right, you have to. It's a must. All right, so we're going to put some garlic. You don't have to, you know, but, you know what I mean? I don't want to want to give it a red flag. All right, so we're going to put some garlic. We don't want to want to put any, um, sorry guys, um, um, red flag for me. I say, oh, Chef Ricardo, what are you going with? <laughs> we don't cook them the kind of way that. <laughs> Please share the video, guys. Please share the video. And just watch and see what's going on. But if you don't got none of these kind of season, you know what I mean? I would encourage you, go over to the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice and get these kind of season, guys. All right? Yeah, get these kind of season. And you know what I mean? As I say, once you get these kind of season, you will be happy. Yeah. 100%. All right? We're going to... um. Tip a little bit of olive oil on it, all right? Beautiful. And just marinate it up like this. All right, look at that. Nice one. Yeah, that looking good. All right. So that look nice? Yeah. Oh, man, that smell amazing. The only thing I'm going to put on it we're gonna put a little bit of paprika. Alright? Yeah. But it, it, it still even doesn't even need the paprika on it. But you know what I mean? I don't want to want giving a red flag and say Chef Ricardo, we don't cook those kind of way. Alright, let's put a little bit of paprika on it for a little bit of colour. As you can see it for yourself, alright? And that's looking amazing and fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so once you marinate up these, all right, guys, you saw that look nice? Yeah, that looking really nice. Yeah, someone said that look nice. All right, so once you, um, you marinate up this, all right, once you marinate it up, you just put it one side and you are good to go. All right, trust me, once you marinate it up, oh, the flavor. Guys, smell this. I don't know if you guys can smell it. Smell it, please. Smell, take a smell of it. The flip, take a picture now, I mean. Sorry, take a picture. Look at that. You see that's so nice and looking beautiful? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that looking amazing. Trust me. The flavor, the texture, Everything looking good. 100% with the pink color. All right? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, leave this for a few minutes. If we go and marinate it up. All right? In the meantime, we're going to be leaving this for it to go on. Marinate in the meantime and go and soak in the meantime. We are finishing up the, the rest of the ingredients. 
So, all right, let's put this right just so. All right, yeah. Very good look. So right over here, we got some peppers and some tomatoes and few bits and pieces where we're gonna be showing you exactly what you guys are gonna need to do. Please, please share the video, okay? If you love what Chef Ricardo been doing, please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend and please share the video, all right? Remember, if you want to get the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice seasoning, the all-purpose seasoning and the fish season, these doesn't got any salt. These kind of cooking for a person, if you are, you know what I mean, do not want to cook with salt because of high blood pressure, cholesterol, a lot more stuff, and you do not want to cook with salt, this is for you. There's no salt in these things, all right? No SMG and all them things, no preservative. These are just natural herbs. So if you are planning for eating healthy, eating a little bit more, Healthier because, you know what I mean, you're in age and all them stuff that... Hey guys, I'll see you soon. Alright, look after yourself. Alright, this is for you. Alright, this, this, this is a very good season for you to use at home. So, right here, this is for chicken. Yeah, you smell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Johnson, smell it, smell it, salmon. I say smell good. <laughs> Can you tell me how it comes to smell that salmon? Because... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, that's good though. I'm happy you're smelling it. <laughs> Beautiful. So right here, guys, I got some vegetable. I got some purple onion, mixed peppers. This is some um, sweet bell peppers and some tomato and stuff that we're going to do a little bit of mix up and bang around right now in the kitchen with these things, all right? So the first thing, we'll put, let's put these over here, all right? If you buy any one of these seasons, you get 15% from the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice with Chef Ricardo. And that's, that's beautiful, guys. Honestly, that is amazing. So first thing, grab yourself the purple onion and we're going to cut into half like this. All right, and like this. All right, we wanna get it like this. Loose it up, you know what I mean? Not too much, just loose it up a little bit. That means it can have some, you know? Yeah. Fantastic. Then uh, we're gonna get the bell peppers. All right. And you know, say things have to look nice in the kitchen with shuffle card. All right. So we're gonna put this in the oven, guys. That's what we're gonna be doing this evening. So you need to watch the video. All right. Um, the only problem at the moment, I must say to you, the grill is on. The grill is light. All right? To be honest with you, the grill is light. All right? If you don't understand what I mean, the grill is light. The grill is on. But I'm not doing it outside because rain or fall. I'm doing it inside the kitchen. That's the beautiful thing today. All right, um, yeah, very good look. Something different on the menu. All right, we got some plump, big, large cherry tomato. And this is what we're talking about. Beautiful and nice and delicious. All right, now, Got some um the peppers in here. Let's put a few of them inside of it. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a little bit of the the fish season one on it. All right. Just a little bit, not too much, just to give it some color and some nice, lovely looks. All right. This one is a fish season, and this one doesn't got any salt in it, guys. So you can get this on. And the, and, the, and the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice. A little bit of oil. We don't use salt. Salt is bad in our kitchen. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Salt is bad. 
And trust me, if you use salt at your one, that's red flag. Salt is burning in our kitchen. Now, let's give this a mix. Beautiful, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. Salt is burning in the kitchen, guys. So, if you ever use salt in your kitchen, trust me, red flag. If you use salt in your kitchen, as from today, all right, um, it's going to be red flag. No salt supposed to use in your kitchen. Some black pepper. Do not use salt in your kitchen. It is bun. Salt is bun in your kitchen. And if you don't believe me, ask the person who made the salt. They say you're not supposed to use salt. All right? Yeah. Do not use salt in your kitchen, guys. All right. Look at that, guys. Tell me if that looks nice. Take a picture of it if you think it looks nice and let me know quickly before I close the show. Take a picture. All right? Yeah. So this is from the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. Salt-free season, all purpose. So if you're using salt at your house, stop use salt. All right? Especially if you're suffering from high blood pressure. This is a little bit of thing they love to say. Can we order that spice? Yes. You can order the spice. You can order it from Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. Go to Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. That's where I ordered mine. And I'm just introducing to you guys that if you guys want to try something different at home, yeah, go and order it. All right, here it is. So if you're at home and you're using salt, cook with, stop use salt. If you are suffering from high blood pressure, this is something for you right here. All right. So we got salt-free season, chicken, pork, and beef. All right, Esther Delicious, stop use salt, cook with. You use too much salt. Um, this one, fish vibes. All right, you can get this one from the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. Bless everyone in the chat. Rum fish, good morning. All right, salt free season, stop, use salt. And just use some of these kind of free season guys without no salt in it. Now, what we're going to do, all right, I got a grease proof paper right here with Chef Ricardo cooking. All right, the only problem I have is that the right kebab stick them, you know, man, this one is for the grill outside. <laughs> I couldn't get the right one, guys, so I'm going to have to use this one, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simple, you know what I mean, I'm going to do it this way that's so you guys can see what's going on all right um let's get a green all right so as you can see what chef record have been doing all right please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend all right so when you're doing it please use gloves all right because i don't want anything to happen to you so this is what we're going to be doing right here. All right, guys. Yeah, man. Things looking good in the kitchen. Yeah. All right. We've got some prawn. Right here. Look at that. Wow. Chef Andre, you're, you, you need to start doing this kind of recipe, man. It's coming up to summer. All right, it is summertime now, you know, guys. You know what I mean? Do these things for the, you know what I mean? For the kids, them I mean, in school, give holiday. These are some of the stuff that you're gonna, guys are gonna need to do at home. And don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep the thing flowing like a river. All right, guys. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to um do it this kind of way. All right, this is what I'm talking about, guys. So sometimes you can do this. But what I want to say to you, you're not going to see anything yet. You need to watch the video because, you know what I mean, we got a little bit of surprise at the end. All right, here it is. You got to get another one. And, you know what I mean, yeah, simple. Like this. Get the salmon. Because, you know, salmon doesn't take long for cooking, so you have to be careful. 
You do not want to, um, you know? Yeah. Salmon doesn't take long to cook, guys. Be careful of the salmon. Yeah. Um, we got some prawn. As you can see it for yourself, what Chef Ricardo been doing. Alright, look at that. Nice one. You know what I mean? Get some more meat on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. That looking good, guys. Look at that. Oh my god, Chef Ricardo. Ah, there's a lot of pepper. Yeah, man. Um, if you like the recipe, as I say, please leave your comments in the description box. All right. Please tell a friend and a friend. Tell a friend. All right. Yeah, man. Put another piece of salmon. Yeah. Look at that. See that? Can you imagine you put this on the grill outside? Your neighbor will be knocking on the door and asking, what are you making? Just telling that it's Chef Ricardo recipe you've been using. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't do that, you know. So, you know what I mean? If your neighbor knock on the door, yeah, you definitely have to try that one, guys. It's a must. You have to. Alright, just telling that it's Chef Ricardo, man. He's crazy in the kitchen with some recipes we we'll never see before. And I love it. So, here it is. It's coming up to summer. And I've got a few recipes which I want to share with you guys. You know what I mean? Where something different where, you know what I mean, you guys will be loving at home this summer. Alright? Yeah, man. look at that. Beautiful and some red pepper and all that thing there. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, if you know what you're doing, you can get it done and everyone happy, you know what I mean? Yeah, everyone will be happy and smiling on their face. Lots of flavors and tears and all them things there, you know? I like to give you guys new recipes and new ideas, you know what I mean? And I like to do a lot of talking. Oh yeah, that's what they say with Chef Ricardo, you talk too much. I don't care. At the end of the day, I still thank to who I keep watching it. And you know what I mean? And I appreciate the love. Oh man, that's a lot of pepper. You don't want to hurt yourself here, guys. Wow, that looks amazing. All right. That looks amazing. Now, look at that, guys. You see that? Now, you see what you can do at home this summer? And that's one of my recipe. I'm sharing with you today for this summer, which is coming soon. All right? And I know a lot of you guys going to... The kids are going to be off from school. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, the tomato them going to just break off into it with some lovely juice. Wow. That's going to be amazing. You know what I mean? We're going to have some nice, lovely juice from the tomato. So that's going to be lovely. So this is something you just have to take the time, guys, and go in the kitchen and just, do, just be creative. It's simple. All right. Yeah. Just be creative in the kitchen. And trust me, you will be happy this summer. You might ask, your neighbor gonna come over and ask you, what's a cooking in the kitchen? And I say, listen, to be honest with you, I saw a chef make this. And you must tell them, guys, because, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, you know what I mean, it's worth it. Don't be shy. Esther Delicious, stop use too much salt, cook with it. Look at that, guys. Wow. That is lovely. You know what I mean? 
I hope you guys can see now. If you don't, if you don't have seen it, let me know, please. Because at the moment, my high ZM is like... Yeah, man. That's, that's amazing. And the tomato is going to bring in that lovely juice to it. So it's going to be flavoring up. And flavoring up. And flavoring up. And yeah. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Are you guys love what's going on? Let me know what's going on. Um, good morning, Nicole. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. All right. So we only have one left. But this is for outside, guys. You know what I mean? It is summer. But, you know, I decided to share it with you today. Because you guys are amazing. And I... I do love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. All right. Please tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. All right. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Is amazing all right look at that guys lovely and that's what I'm talking about you're gonna see something when this done with I gotta I gotta got, all right you know what happened I'm gonna go to some more other recipes too because there are a certain kind of recipe you guys doesn't see you know what I mean yeah you know guys gonna love this one yeah Lovely and nice. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, man. That looking good. Wow. Now, look at that. I've got a few left. So what I'm going to do is just put them right here. And that's fine. You know what I mean? A few peppers. We're not gonna waste them. I'm gonna put them right there. Now, if you got a grill thing, you can put them on the grill like this, but I don't have one. So I just put them on a tray. And trust me, they will be still coming out lovely and nice. 100%. They will gonna be lovely and nice same way. And it's simple. Very, very, very simple, guys. Yeah, that is so lovely. So if you like the recipe, as I say, um, please tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. All right? Yeah, yeah. Please tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. It's very important for you guys to do that. All right? 100%. Look at that. That is fantastic and an amazing. All right? Yeah, so as you can see, we got the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice. Kebab, kebab, salmon, today from Chef Ricardo cooking. Now, if you like the recipes, as I say, yeah. Please tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. All right? That's what we're talking about. Let's name out them. So this one is... Caribbean fusion salt free seasoning all purpose right here salt free season this is a fish one salt free season this is for chicken and beef and pork and all them stuff there when you love to eat same way salt free you can get it on the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice and not only that if you use my code you get 15% discount chef ricotta not chef ricotta cooking just Chef Ricardo, all right? You get 15% off if you do that. All right? So, you know, salmon doesn't take long for cook, guys. All right? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little bit of trick. What you can do, 
to be honest with you. Just tip a little bit of water into it so it doesn't dry out. Just a tiny bit. Because it's going to keep it moisture. Alright? 15 to 20 minutes. If you're outside on the grill, you get a better look on the charcoal grill. You will get a, a better look. A better a grill. Alright? So... I would encourage you guys, if you want to try this, give it a try at home, all right? It's something different, and you know what I mean? I got the chicken one, which I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a chicken one. Um, I got the beef one. I got all different kinds I'm going to be showing you exactly what to do for the rest of this week. It's going to be amazing the rest of this week. So we're going to put this in the oven. I preheat my oven now. So it's going to be in the oven for roughly about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's put this in the oven, and we're going to see how it looks. In the meantime, we're going to make a salad. Let's go into the oven. Oh yeah, that looking good. All right. Now, here it is. We're going to make a salad to go with this beautiful kebab. Um, now, we can do two things, which we can also do. All right, I'm gonna give you another little bit of um, recipe first. Before we make the, um, the salad, I'm gonna give you a little bit of dressing, where you can also use if you're at home. This is a dressing which I normally use all the time, all right? So, get yourself a pen and a piece of paper. Sweet chili sauce. All right, I'm going to show you how to make a... But if you're on high blood pressure, do not do this one. This is for who are not like, you know what I mean, who can do this one at home. Uh, you're not on certain kind of medication. You can do this one. All right, guys? Yeah. So you want a little bit of dip towards this sauce, all right? You can you can do a cold sauce and you can do a hot sauce, all right? So I'm, I'm gonna give you a recipe. So some sweet chili sauce, all right? Beautiful. And get a piece of a ginger. Ginger is nice, man. I love ginger in these things, you know. Alright, you can make it hot and you can make it cold. Alright. So, a little bit of ginger. Now, you see, well, a lot of people doesn't know it. There's so many little things you can do at home. This is some chives. Alright. Cut up some chives very, very finely. All right, this is some chives right here. This one. Lovely. Um, So this is a very good look for some people who want to do something different at home. Then what you can do is just a little bit of lemon inside of it. Alright. Once you zest the lemon, then what you want to do next. Squeeze out some of your favorite, some lemon juice in it all right that's some lemon juice that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to it so it helps to cut down the tone of the sweetness or anything to it all right we got some peppers i'm gonna show you what you can also do with the peppers for colors You don't have to make this kind of sauce when making. Just make your kind of sauce where you'll be happy with at the home. But I know this recipe which I can always make very easy. All right. All right. 
Um, secondly, just tip a little bit of soya sauce or color, not much. Tiny bit of soya sauce. Um, you can put a little bit of your favorite favorite black pepper. You know, what I mean, a lot of people like to use black pepper. And then um, what you wanna do next? Get a teaspoon and just give that a mix. All right, look at that. Oh my God. All right. Just a tiny more soya sauce, just for color. Especially in the summer, you need something for, you know what I mean, to give it a nice little bit of flavor, you know? A little bit more. Just for color. Look at that. So that's the sauce you can use on that um, beautiful kebab. All right? So you have to watch the video to see the finish of this, guys, because this is a tip of the iceberg. There's more to come. I'm going to finish it up to show you how that look. So in the meantime, what we're going to do, all right? So look at this sauce, guys. All right? So simple. Simple to just roll up a little sauce in your kitchen. If you don't want to be using sweet chili sauce, you can just boil up yourself some sauce for yourself. Use whatever kind of sauce you want to make at home and do something very simple and quick because nine to five workers doesn't have certain things to do. Trust me. Especially when you have four kids and the father is not there. It's a different thing. All right? Special, you know what I mean? You have to drop them to school, pick them up. You know what I mean? Come home and do certain things. Nine to five workers doesn't have time to do certain things. So you have to make life easier for the single parents. And that's my one of my biggest things. I'll try to make things easier for everyone. So if you're in your kitchen, just use whatever you have to make your life easy and to be happy and to be comfortable at home. And you know what I mean? At the end of the day, the kids them is happy and you happy. All right? Because the father and the daddy and all you alone and four kids, that's not easy. All right? So... Yeah, why not? All right, now, let's make a little bit of sauce, salad. All right, we're gonna make a little bit of salad. Very easy. And this is for the nine to five workers them who come home sometime and want to treat themselves. Here it is, mixed leaf. You know what I mean? I like this kind of mixed leaf. It got water crisp in it. It got some racket. It got, now it got some spinach and some, some, some leaves inside of it. So that's beautiful. Now. A lot of people doesn't know there's something about watercress. Watercress got a lot of health benefit. I will encourage you when you go to the shop, buy the salad what have watercress. Watercress have a million percent health benefit. All right, guys? Lovely. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some cucumber. All right. Let's get the board over there to the other side. And then... We're gonna cut up the cucumber into some small slices. Now a cucumber, beautiful guys to have, all right? To be honest with you. So we're gonna put some cucumber with this. So it's gonna be so lovely and delicious. All right, we got some purple onion. We're gonna be using some purple onion. Very finely chopped. You don't want to be putting too much inside of it, all right? Just a little bit to give it a little bit of color. You know what I mean? Especially in the summer, your family come over, they want to have something lovely, all right? We got some same thing of the cherry tomato. Just dice up a few of it and put it inside of it, all right? That's something simple and neat, nothing too extra. All right, guys, yeah. You guys gonna love this one. Simple, but also delicious, all right? Let's roll up that beautiful salad together, all right? Simple, simple, guys. You do not need anything too extra. All right, we've got some... Um... Yeah, we'll go. 
We got we got could put some other pepper inside of it, you know. We got some chives. We're gonna put a little bit of chives inside of it. Chives is nice to go in a salad and certain things. You know what I mean? It just give it that beautiful tongue on your tongue when you're eating it. If you know what is chives, if you don't have this, use what you have at home. Don't stress yourself, and then you know what I mean. Just use whatever you have. All right. Use whatever you have at home and you will be happy. A million percent. All right, guys? Yeah. Um, we, got, we got some peppers, which I'm going to be using. All right. Yeah, this is some peppers. Could put a lot more stuff in it. We got, you can put beetroot. You can put so many things. You can put apple. You can put... We got celery. Yeah, we could put some celery inside of it. You know? And celery is beautiful. Nice one. I love celery. So this is some celery. We've been using. All right, here it is, celery. All right, no, that's it, guys. Beautiful little salad. You don't even need too much stuff with this salad, especially the weather is hot. You know what I mean? You just want something really cool and relaxed, and that's what you need in the summer. All right, nothing to, um, to stress you out. It's something very simple and delicious. All right, you can put whatever you like to put inside of it, but that's just a simple little salad. All right, Esther Delicious, thank you so much. You need to eat more salad and more vegetable, not jollof rice. All right, now, that looking good. All right, guys, yeah. This is what I'm going on at the woven. Because the woven is a very quick woven. All right, so we're gonna take a take a look and see what's going on. Now, look at that. Spin it over, guys. You know what I mean? As you can see for yourself. Yes. All right. Here it is. You see that? Look at that, guys. Beautiful, isn't it? And simple and delicious. Look how look how it's sweating and you know, so nice. But if you're on the grill. Is a big different thing guys trust me and the grill wow is more delicious all right yeah a million percent all right now you to be honest with you guys with the sauce i would encourage you you know what i mean i'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce on it on it and just just to make it just come down with that beautiful flavor with the sauce all right make it can cook off with it, that lovely sauce, that mean, you know, you got that lovely color. But um, if you're suffering from high blood pressure and all them things, do not use this kind of sauce I've been using. Please just eat it naturally like this, all right? It's much more easier and better for you, all right? To be honest with you guys. But as you can see it for yourself, that is lovely, all right? which I will encourage you guys to do at home, 100%. But because I, I, you need a little bit of sauce to give it that lovely color and that lovely flavor and that lovely texture, honestly. You need a little bit of sauce, which is a must. All right. So what we're going to do next, look at this now. Squeeze some lemon juice. Guys, it's salmon. You need this, guys. If you're on the grill outside, it's a big different thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. That looking really amazing. And then what you want to do next, for more extra towards it, this is what I normally do when I'm doing this kind of stuff. I like to use chives on it because you see the, the chives just, just give it that lovely color. Yeah. 
and that lovely taste. Yeah, but as you can see it for yourself, guys, you know what I mean? That looking uh, delicious. So we're gonna put back that in the oven for another good, so rough about 10 minutes, and we are good to go because salmon does not take long for cook. All right, the salmon doesn't take long for cook. <laughs> Jerk prawn. Is salmon our chef? You can't do that. Definitely. 100% you can't do that one. Yeah, you can't do that one this summer. Yeah. All right. This summer, this is something where you can also do this summer, guys. It's amazing with the kebab um, salmon. So as, I, as you can see, guys, just take a good look for yourself. And if you like, please take a picture. And remember, the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice right here. That's all of the stuff I'm being using. All right. And not only that, this is the, the fish and vibes one. And remember, this one is salt free seasoning all right yeah so as i said guys please check them out and they can get all of that on their website 100 percent so what we're gonna do we're gonna put back this in at the oven for about another few more minutes guys it doesn't take long look at that amazing guys wow that is what i'm talking about okay so in the meantime that i cook we're going to one more recipe because look at this thing, man. It just get white. Can anyone tell me what to do with this? Please let me know. Turn it into white. I use it too much. Now, you see this right here, guys? It's amazing. All right? And this is good for you. Pomegranate seed. So if you go to the supermarket and you're in the, the fruit section, I'm going to encourage you. Do not leave out at any supermarket that you don't buy the seed. Very good for high blood pressure and a lot more stuff. All right. So in the meantime, what we're going to do, I'm giving you like about 30 recipe one time, guys. Put this into a blender. All right. This is good for you. This is good for the man them and the ladies. Yeah, definitely, 100%. I know that. All right. Pomegranate seed. All right, with a little bit of water into the blender. All right. Put a little bit more water inside of it. Yeah. So you want to put the same amount of water with the seed. All right. Pomegranate seed with all of that ingredients. Then... What you want to do next, all right, guys, is grab yourself half a lemon inside of it. All right. Yeah, beautiful. Half a lemon. And then we're going to put a piece of a ginger. All right, I love ginger with it because the ginger definitely bring in a lovely flavor to it. Trust me. All right. We're going to put in a nice, lovely piece of a ginger inside of it. Pomegranate seed with some lemon and ginger. You don't need nothing else. Then what you need to do is this. Blend it up. That's all you need to do. All right, guys. You're just going to have to blend it. To blend it, get yourself a glass. I'm just gonna straight it through that for you. Okay, guys, can see. All 
right? Run it through your strainer like this. Drink this for six morning and tell me the next, the seven morning, what happened to your body. This is a powerful drink, guys. All right. Pomegranate seed is powerful. And I will encourage every one of you, every one of you, every, every one of you guys, drink pomegranate seed. Lots of benefit. Chef Andrea, good morning. Sorry, man, I'm just, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm talking and just working, you know? That's what keep me going, you know? Talking and working. You know, you have to do that, man. See that right here, guys? After you do that, then pour it into a cup. Like this. Call your mommy, call your daddy, and make it for them. And tell them to drink this. Tell them, Sir Chef Ricardo, say so if you drink this for seven days. All right, we're going to try this. Oh, my God. Now, out of fizzy juice and this juice, which one is the best? All right, guys, I want you guys to tell me which one is the best. Out of you go to the shop and you, you spend... One pound fifty, and buy yourself a fizzy juice, and you buy this. Which one is better? Because I'm telling you, this right here I'm drinking is amazing, guys. The flavor, uh. oh yeah, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Shine, thank you so much. Now. This is to tell you that don't go to the shop and buy fizzy juice. All right? Because the fizzy juice, what do that do to your body? It's put a lot of sugar in your body, lead to diabetes, arthritis. And then 10 years down the line, you start suffering. You go to the doctor, you start to cry on 15 medication and lots of niggling in your body. You know what I mean? You don't want that. So what you want to do is go to the shop, buy yourself as much fruits. Some people say, oh yeah, sugar have a lot of fruits. It's natural sugar. This is, this is, this is not sugar where they made. This is a different kind of a sugar sweetness. This is from the fruits. It's much more better than, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's up to you. Pomegranate seed is amazing. And the flavor, easy. Look how easy I make this one. Less than five minutes. You know what I mean? All right, so let's take out the fish and take a good look at the fish because we don't want to overcook the fish. The fish is important. All right. Wow. Smell that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can smell this. Wow. Look at that, guys. No. No way, man. Look at that. That is exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about. Look at that. All right. Hold on the first. Let me see something. Because I do not like to overcook salmon. Alright. Because let me see this one right here. Pink and nice, yeah. Let me taste this. Mm, mm, oh my. Mm. Yeah. This is amazing. This is heaven in the mouth. Alright, let's taste the prawn. Oh yeah. That this is the prawn right here. Alright, we're gonna taste it. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can taste that beautiful season. It's amazing. The flavor, the texture, everything. It is so beautiful. You just get I can't imagine guys. There's no way and hurt someone that don't want to try this recipe. Alright, definitely. You have to try this at home, guys. You have to. 
oh, there's no way. Now, if you want to serve this, I know it's going to be a little bit more taller than on the plate and all them stuff there. But look at this. All right. This is what I'm talking about. Beautiful, nice, and delicious. All right. That beautiful sauce we should make can just go on top of it now. But you know what I mean? Get yourself some of that beautiful salad and just run it at the side and you serve this in the evening for a lovely meal. Honestly, your family will be so happy. Honestly. All right? Yeah. They will be happy. They will be like, oh no, mommy, why you, where you get this from, mommy? But I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen. It's so beautiful. It's unbelievable. All right? Yeah. Then, um... You know what I mean? It's amazing. Look at this. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Wow. Guys. That's it. I'm done. Done and dusted. Well, if you like what I just made, as I said, leave your comments in the description box. Only thing you need now is some lemon on top of it and serve it in the evening. You know what I mean? Just give it a try at home, guys. Something different. If you got a barbecue in the back garden, trust me, this is really what goes down really well on the barbecue grill on the outside. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice right here. Salt-free season. I used to make it. Um, this is an all-purpose season. All right. And this one right here is a fish seasoning. All right. You can get it in the UK. Wherever you are, you can get this. 15% when you use Chef Ricardo code right here. Salt-free seasoning. Again. All right. Chicken, pork, and beef. All right, definitely, guys, give it this a try at home. You will never feel regret it. This is from Chef Ricardo Cooking. Check me out on my Facebook and my Instagram, Chef Ricardo Cooking. I try my best to give you some of the world's best ever recipes. And remember, these doesn't got any preservative in them. We have to think about MSG and all them stuff there. This is vegan and also vegetarian. Just natural herbs make up this, all right? Thank you for watching. Stay tuned in. And you guys have a lovely day. I will catch up with more recipes and more ideas. Lots of talking going on, but I saw it going on. I saw it thing set. Big up myself, Chef Andrea. Thank you so much. And the other recipe people are watching. And I will see you next time in the kitchen.